Um, so as everyone knows, ARDC is the National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy Capability, meaning we are funded by NCRIS. Um, and so um, it's really important around the attribution of ARDC's co-investment to take place. So, um, so all ARDC project investment recipients um, are required to attribute the investment to ARDC and NCRIS on the platform or um, data project that are being produced um, and in the marketing communication materials, including talks, um, posters, presentations, brochures and websites. Um, there is an investment identifier or DOI um, so ARDC will um, uh, provide this. Uh, so it's required to publicly identify ARDC's investment. Um, the identifier will be provided by um, ARDC and the project team will be advised of the DOI um, as per our uh, policies and procedures. So how to attribute ARDC's investment? Um, in line with uh, NCRIS acknowledgement guidelines, um, we've got a line um, that we recommend for um, attributing uh, the investment. So it's the project received um, investment and we'll provide you with a DOI, which will resolve to uh, the project page um, from the Australian Research Data Commons and ARDC is funded by the National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy. Um, so you please, we'd like you to ask you to please use this text together with um, ARDC and NCRIS logos uh, in presentations, websites, et cetera. Um, so we have an ARDC attribution style guideline, which is the visual version of this. Um, and on the screen, you'll see a horizontal lockup and a vertical lockup with an example. This is one partner logo. Um, obviously, there are more partner logos uh, involved in these projects, uh, most projects. Um, so we also have a version um, which shows multiple partners and co-branding. And I've just got an example here of a website to show you, which is Eco Commons. Um, and you can see ARDC and the, the line of text next to it, as well as the NCRIS logo, and that's at the bottom of the screen. Um, we've had some questions around uh, using some other uh, communications and, and marketing activities, such as Twitter, LinkedIn, video or infographics. There may be others, so if you've got questions, please um, email us. Um, and as they pop up, we'll add this to the slide deck. So with Twitter, we ask you to please tag um, ARDC, and if there's space, uh, there's a hashtag for NCRIS impact. Um, with LinkedIn, there should be plenty of space on posts, so you can include both. Um, Australian Research Data Commons can be tricky to find, so but if you could please tag us, that would be great. Um, with videos, um, we would ask for attribution at the end, uh, an end slide to the video, along with all the other partners, and if possible, a verbal attribution. And with the infographics, we know there's limited space, uh, but if possible, at um, the bottom of the infographic would be great. Um, we also ask that you acknowledge uh, the use of ARDC products and services that are used um, when, when you use them. And this includes, um, you know, co-invested platforms or virtual laboratories, which we provide a copy for. Um, also, uh, Nectar Research Cloud general users, and also um, if there's a specific no uh, cloud node that's been used, we ask you to acknowledge the, that use. Um, so we have a, a range of attribution and acknowledgement guidelines. Um, there's, these are all available on our website to download and there's links there. So they include a guide for copy, um, acknowledgement of our services, which was Nectar and some of the platforms, et cetera, um, virtual laboratories, et cetera. And there's also the style guideline, which is more a visual and there's logos to download. Um, and then we would ask that you send all our work and communications to our general email, which is comms at ARDC edu.au to review before publishing. Um, and just while I've got your attention, I'd also like to just um, talk about project communications as well. So when you're obviously received investment and you're running the project, um, you know, there's normally starts off with an article or a post about receiving the funding. That's a kick, a kick a startup or a kickoff article. Um, you may also like to consider a project comms plan for your activity. Um, potentially a website page or a suitable page for landing. Um, collecting emails from interested researchers along the way. Um, so that might be used, you might be able to use that for user testing, feedback or updating on the progress of the project. Um, social media posts you might be interested in and PowerPoint presentations and branding when you speak to other organisations as well. And um, I would also like you to consider keeping in contact with ARDC 
after the co-investment funding period ends. Um, as Adrian was saying, this reporting that goes on afterwards. And some of this activity that comes out around um, the broader impacts is really gold for ARDC, and we'd love to be able to promote impact stories that result from this sort of activity. Um, I've just provided an example project comms plan template that may be useful to some groups. Um, some, some already have comms teams, et cetera, that have this sort of, um, these sort of tools. Um, and I just wanted to run through some of the ARDC channels that are available to our um, investment, co-investment projects and um, programs, um, which are a national, at a national level. So um, we'd like you to help us tell your story. Uh, we have, we'll provide you with an ARDC project website page with a DOI link that results to it. Um, we have our ARDC Twitter account um, where you could tag us and the hashtag for increased impact. Um, the ARDC LinkedIn page um, as well. We have an ARDC blog on our website uh, where we write regular stories. So if you think about if you have a story to share, is there a call to action or something you would like people to do? We're really keen to send people um, in a particular space. So make them aware of the project, but also get them to do something, whether or not that's, um, you know, join a community practice, fill in a survey, uh, whatever it is you'd like people to do. Uh, and we have, uh, uh, ARDC Connect newsletters that go out. One's the first of every month, which has major stories as well as um, other events and jobs. And then on the 15th of every month, we have a What's On newsletter, which also has events, um, you know, registrations, jobs, etc., that we could uh, highlight to people. Um, so the comms team is really looking for project milestones to promote in advance. So if you know about things in advance, we'd love to hear about them to give us time to prepare and um, produce materials, etc. We're looking for high quality images of the impact from the project or, or activity, um, or we might be able to arrange a photographer if there's enough notice. So it might not be the building of the thing, but you know, if there's researchers out there that are using it, that might make a great story that we could use. Um, we, we may be able to get a photographer out if there's something great to capture. Um, and researchers or end users, we're always looking for researchers or end users who are helping to develop um, the, the activity or use, you know, who might be using the platform to show impact of the project. So that's what we're looking for. So, you know, when and how to contact ARDC communications. Um, when you have a project milestone to announce, um, you know, you know, are you looking for a target audience to take action, such as sign up for an event, etc.? That's when you can contact us. Um, and all pro project marketing communications collateral with written or logo acknowledgement um, to send to us to review. And I've just provided the email address there. Um, so that's it from me. Very quick 